my mum, when I was younger, we had no pair. The au pair had to go back to Turkey because it was a family emergency. And my mum started cooking dinner for us. And she wasn't the best cook at the time. Um, so she made me and my sisters like a uh, kind of frozen chicken Kiev like meal kit from from the superstore. And she made it once and we all loved it. We thought, this is amazing. Chicken Kiev's the, 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 the shiz. Um, the problem was <laughs> once my mum heard that we liked it, she just started giving us chicken Kiev for dinner every single night. And for those who don't know, chicken Kiev is like a chicken breast breaded, kind of like a schnitzel with some garlic and herbs and butter inside as well. By day five, we never wanted to touch chicken Kiev ever again. Um, and I still have a bad taste in my mouth about chicken Kiev. So when I think about scaling, a lot of that isn't just doing more content. It's increasing the variety of the content that you're putting out. So that means switching up between different formats, video, images, text posts different themes. Is it funny? Is it educational? Is it motivational? Is it self-serving product stuff, which has its place for sure as well. So um, my main thing is when I'm thinking about what kind of content should be used to grow a company, there's no one right answer. I believe the the correct answer would be similar to a sales approach. It's like an omni everything, a little bit of everything, because that gives you the best chance of getting around the right people because everyone enjoys different stuff. Some people won't watch a video. Some people won't laugh at a meme, uh, but by mixing up, you give yourself the best chance of basically uh, hitting a home run.